Hi, it's Katrina. Did you know that bees pollinate 70% of the world's crops? From losing many food groups to the death of humanity itself, here are nine things that would disappear if bees went extinct. Number nine, coffee. Surprised to see this one on the list? We love coffee, but not everyone knows where it even comes from. Coffee comes from the roasted seeds of berries that come from the coffee plant, and those plants need to be pollinated. Guess what's the biggest pollinator of coffee plants? That's right, bees! Bees are responsible for about 25% of coffee production, and they actually increase the quality of the coffee beans by making their size more uniform. Now you might be thinking, okay, we lose coffee, so what? And you're right, I mean, the world wouldn't exactly end if coffee ends, but coffee is a huge industry, and coffee is the most consumed beverage in the United States, even more than tap water. Coffee is a multi-billion dollar industry around the world. Between Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, coffee shops everywhere, and many home brew companies, coffee makes a lot of money and provides employment for a lot of people. In 2015, the economic impact in the U.S. alone was $225.2 billion. So, if coffee suddenly went away with the bees, a lot of big businesses would close, which would cost millions of people their jobs and billions in lost revenue. Scientists have projected that Latin American countries could lose 88% of the land suitable for growing coffee due to warming temperatures. Combine that with the loss of bees, and everyone will suffer. Number 8. Halloween. Here's another surprise for you, one that I hope scares you a little. But it's true, if bees went extinct, Halloween would suffer. Why? Well, what's the biggest symbol of Halloween? No, it's not ghosts or vampires or even candy, it's pumpkins. And guess what? Bees love to pollinate pumpkins. In fact, several different species of bees pollinate pumpkins, including honeybees, bumblebees, squash bees, and a few others. But more importantly than that, unlike other crops like coffee or major foods, pumpkins aren't widely grown. In fact, they're grown on small farms by families or independents, meaning that there isn't a big industry name trying to grow them. Over a billion pounds worth of pumpkins are grown by these farmers, and if bees went away, so would their crops. On the positive side, this wouldn't be seen as a crushing blow to the farmers as they could transition to another crop, but Halloween just wouldn't be the same. In fact, it would suffer quite a bit. One of the biggest selling items during the Halloween season is pumpkins. About $850 million worth of pumpkins are bought each year. Not to mention, what about pumpkin pie? I love pumpkin pie, although I think I'm one of the few. And without those sales, the industry wouldn't be the same. Yes, you can still buy costumes and candy and decorations, but they don't sell the same. Once again, a chain reaction all caused by bees being extinct, and it's going to get much worse. Number seven, trucking industry. Picture this, you're a farmer and you grow crops, valuable crops, and now you need to get your valuable product across the country in a timely manner. How do you do it? Well, for most farmers, the answer is simply trucks. The trucking industry is responsible for transporting food all over the place. It's actually a huge industry. In 2017, it generated $676.2 billion in the United States. The trucking industry is vital to the economies of many countries. As such, if bees die and certain crops go with it, we can say bye not only to a lot of crops, but also to a lot of jobs. Truck drivers are always in high demand, and that's because there's almost always food to move and transport. But if the food is gone, then there's no need to move the trucks, right? Now, like Halloween, this wouldn't completely destroy the industry, but it would most definitely hurt the economy significantly. One truck company can make around $5.4 billion a year due to contracts transporting food. That would all be gone without bees. Number six, nuts. Really, nuts? Yep, nuts come from plants and they're vital to the food industry and economy. Almonds and cashew plants, for example, are heavily pollinated by bees. While pecans or pecans don't need bees, cross-pollination is essential for their production. California is responsible for producing 80% of the world's supply of almonds. Over half of the bee population in the U.S. is owned by companies in California. They rent bees out across the country, but almonds demand bees more than any other crop. Without bees, the nuts wouldn't grow. At the same time the honeybee population is dying, they are splitting up healthy colonies and creating new ones. 
The good news is sometimes they can create 6,000 new hives a year. When they aren't out pollinating crops across America, they're making honey. But farmers in the U.S. can't produce enough honey to meet demand. That's why it's getting more expensive. Cashews are seeds of the cashew apple and are the most eaten nut in Europe and America. Most cashews come from India and Africa. Farms with bee colonies increase their yield by 102%. It is a huge boost to these economies. And if the nuts went away, multiple continents would be affected. Number five, biofuel. The gas and oil industry is a highly lucrative business, but also a controversial one. The more we use it, the more we learn how much fossil fuels hurt the planet. So people are trying to work out new sources of fuel that we can use to power our machines and not pollute the earth. One of the hopeful solutions to this is biofuel. Biofuel uses organic matter like plants to help create a fuel substitute, and it works. There's just one catch. Some of the plants used in these substitutes are pollinated by bees. So if the bees aren't there to pollinate key ingredients, there's no way biofuel could be made. An example of this comes from Canada. They're using canola oil to make a new biofuel. It's actually very effective and could help change things, but the canola plant is pollinated by bees. If that plant dies, it would be a huge hit to the biofuel industry, and the planet will have suffered another blow. Number four, clothes. I joke not, my friends. Let me ask you this, what's your t-shirt made out of, or the jeans you're wearing? I bet most of you said cotton, and cotton is a plant byproduct. And would you like to know what pollinates most of the cotton plants on Earth? Say it with me, bees. The United States is the world's largest cotton exporter and China is the world's largest producer. To this day, about 60% of women's clothing is made of cotton and 75% of men's clothing is made of cotton. This cash crop is a major source of industry and has been for thousands of years. So if there's no bees, there's almost no cotton. And that means that clothes will start getting scarce in the long term. Or we'll all be wearing a lot of polyester and nylon. Most likely the price of clothes will go up and in general, everything will start getting more expensive. Many countries around the world rely on cotton material and clothing for their economy and people prefer cotton to protect them from the sun and extreme weather. It may no longer be an affordable option. Number three, humans. The bees are dead, we're all going to die. This is actually a very controversial hypothesis getting thrown around that because everything is so interconnected, if the bees die out, we will die out. There are a lot of elements that play into this hypothesis. The main gist of it is that without bees pollinating crops with no substitute, our food supply will start to run out and eventually we'll all starve to death and it would cascade into something that would end the human race. Why? Bees affect a lot of what we do and so to lose them would be devastating to our planet in numerous ways. It's bad enough we'd lose coffee and clothes to an extent, but other factors would heavily affect our world. To be blunt, without bees, our whole world will change very quickly, and we humans aren't known for dealing with change in a good way. Usually, we go to war. As if that wasn't enough, the Earth Watch debate that happens annually once said that bees are the most valuable species on Earth. What do you think about that? Let us know in the comments below. Now again, some people don't agree with this. After all, the world did thrive at one time without bees, or so it's believed. So it's possible that given enough time, humanity could bounce back or find some kind of substitute, but it's hard to know really what would happen. Are we truly linked to bees? Would we die out if they do? Number two, the world's economy. So what's worse than the human race potentially dying because bees died first? Well, our world economy could tank and we could all go crazy. Much of the world economy involves food and all the food in the world has one thing in common. The food in the world is exported or traded to other parts of the world. The food industry is a massive money maker and for some countries it's their main source of income. Take for example Latin America. Many of the countries there rely on exporting bananas. They actually export 13 million tons of bananas all over the world. Continents like Asia and Africa have heavy exports of certain foods like rice, cocoa, coffee, cotton, pineapples, etc. And so if the bees died and the amount of food crops decreased dramatically, so would their economies. To put this in round numbers, honeybees are such good pollinators that they're responsible for about $15 billion worth of food per year. It's hard to calculate really. Add the rest of the bee species and that would add up to around $30 billion per year. That's a lot of money and it'll all be gone if bees go away. Of course, this does bring up one final thing. Number one, the world's food supply. 
I've already talked on this list about certain food industries that would take a very hard hit if bees were to go extinct. But in truth, while certain industries would be hit hard, the world as a whole would be hit the hardest. Bees are pollinators and they're actually very good and efficient at what they do. As such, farmers of all kinds count on bee colonies to come to their plants and pollinate them so they can grow and bear fruit. Now here's an interesting fact for you. The human species can find its food divided up into about 100 different crops. This in turn makes up about 90% of the human food supply. Bees? Well, they're the main source of pollination for about 70% of the crops that make up that food supply. So if the bees suddenly went extinct, a lot of crops would die and wouldn't recover. And because about 63% of the world's food supply would die, that would affect the world in a catastrophic way. It's unlikely that humanity would die out because of this. However, there would be casualties all over the world, and it would all be because there isn't enough food to go around. So we need to start coming up with some solutions. Thanks for watching! Did you know that bees were so important? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!